Hi, I'm Jan Krentz. I'm a quilt maker and I also knit socks. I like to knit socks both by hand and also by using an old-fashioned machine called a circular sock knitting machine. So a couple of years ago I put my name on a waiting list for a brand new model of a circular sock machine and it has just arrived at my home. I have unboxed all the pieces that came in my order and I wanted to show you how it looks. I've received the circular sock machine called True Knit. And here it is. The machine has been shipped uh, completely clamped and braced in a wooden package that protects it during shipment. But you can see on the machine right here there is what they call the silver bullet which is a yarn, a yarn carrier and I've also ordered a 60 cylinder which means there are 60 slots you will have 60 vertical needles and that's the equivalent of casting on 60 stitches it's a good size for women and older children size socks now you can see here there's an aluminum handle there's also a little peg right in here that locks the gears so when you step away from your machine you can insert this little peg and it keeps the machine from working while you are away. This is real helpful if you live in a household with children or pets that might jump up. They're always curious, they want to know how it works. Along with the circular cylinder that you get you also want your river assembly. This is the river arm and also the ribber dial that comes in a corresponding number of stitches. So this is a 60 needle cylinder and a 60 slot ribber dial. Those go together when you're doing a ribbed cuff on your sock. Now over to your left you can see I've got a weight stack here and the nice thing about these is that they've been engineered so when the weights are mounted on the center post they slip down and they don't fall off. This is a safety feature because sometimes with the older weight stacks the weights would actually disengage and fall on your feet and that is really painful. Um, you use the weight stack when you're doing the pull down weight to form the stitches. You also receive a set of heel forks and you can have your tools engraved if you choose. I had my name put on my tools. There we go. Now let's step over here. I have a second cylinder. I placed an order for two cylinders. I wanted a 60 and a 72 and of course there are 72 slots and they correspond to 72 needles that will go in this um, cylinder. I also have a corresponding river dial that matches and there are etchings that tell you which size each of these parts are. So if you have more than one set it's quite simple to tell them apart. Other tools that came in the package right here I have a buckle that has my name on it and this buckle is connected or hooked around the sock as you're knitting on the machine and the pull down weights that we just looked at are attached through this hole. There is a crescent tool if I can pick it up there we go. The crescent is used to lift the needles as you're raising and lowering needles for knitting heels and toes. There is a row counter. I think this one is an electronic row, row counter. You get a spring extender, which is useful when you're trying to move needles with live stitches on them. For instance, you might be doing a lace pattern or some ribbing on your sock, and then you can do that by using your spring extender. In the package, I received my name <laughs> with the invoice inside. I also received a sample sock that was knit on my machine and a card that tells me exactly the recipe that was used. So it tells me what kind of a selvage I have at the top edge 
it tells me how many rows of ribbing I have in the upper leg. I have a heel and how many rows are in the foot. And of course, here's the toe. If you're unfamiliar with a sock that has been knit in this way, you have waste yarn that is applied. And after it comes off the machine, then you close this up by hand stitching it with a Kitchener stitch or grafting. You also have a cast on bonnet. The way these are used is they drop down in your cylinder and the little loops at the top edge hang from the needles. And that way your weight and buckle go on this opposite end. We'll go to the next collection of things. As you look here, I have two containers. One is river needles, the other is cylinder needles. I also have a package of little uh, wrenches that work with the machine. I have a pick tool. This one is a latch hook tool, and perhaps you can see it against my sleeve here. So it's for picking up drop stitches, if you should have any of those. I received a bottle of machine oil. They were very smart. They packed this in a Ziploc bag so that just in case it had a few dribbles, uh, it wouldn't spoil the whole box. Now right here, as I'm holding this in my hand, I'll give a little contrast here. This is the mast that holds the yarn up above the cylinder. And there is a screw, a thumb screw at the top, and you loosen it and you can spread the arms of this yarn mast any direction you want. It's very handy because then you can close those, tighten it down, and it's good for packing. In your order, you'll also receive a full cone of sock weight yarn, and this is a good quality yarn, active, which is 75% wool and 25% nylon, so for strength of your socks. You'll also receive a full cone of waist yarn. So that is my package. I'm thrilled that I, it's arrived. I can hardly wait to start knitting on it. What I need to do is wait for my table to arrive and then I'll install it on the table. So I'll show you that step once the table is here. Happy knitting. Thank you for joining me.